Oh, I thought you were still looking at calming trees and see it's changed. <laughs> you may proceed at good uh, Caesar. You can look at those seven people that are standing there. Yeah. Before the actual shots were fired. And I also want to look at you. I want you to look at them. The reaction during the process of that shots being fired, and you tell us what do you see. Which seven are I looking at? Seven at the far right in the direction where oh, Mr. Oh, 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 yes, yeah. they're those yeah. ones. Oh, oh. Did you observe that? Yes. Can you tell us what do you see? Nothing. I see the crowds that uh, gathered in front of the stage. And of course, they are not seated. There's up and downs. People do as they want to do in a stadium like that. Because your worship, logically, and that's what should come to our mind, all of us. Why would a shots being fired, the people who are right in front of the shots being fired, don't run away? And we are shown some people there who are actually in some uniform, maybe cleaning or something. I don't even know what they are doing there. The immediate threat should be with these people who are in front of the stage. And they, they are unmoved. So I'm shown some people there. I don't know what they are, whether they are picking up papers, whether they are security guards or what. I don't know. But it looks like they've got reflectors on. None of them came to you here, your worship, and said they ran away. Uh, or they were moved by uh, shots. And uh, none of the witnesses who came here suggested those people were running away or moved by the sound of a firearm. Mr. Carla, would you be able to point with your mouse there? So I just want to make sure that we are on the same page mm. when you play that video. Can you please pause there? Can you please pause there? Do you see that seven people, and you point with a mouse, standing there on the far right? I'm the one who pointed the court to those people, and the court said it was not even looking at those people. <coughs> I can't point at them if I don't see them. I did. I pointed them to the court. <coughs> But do you see they're just standing? Uh, uh, they are standing because this thing is not playing. How can they move when you have paused? Hey, bon. Can you go back and just show how that they're actually standing? Can you pause? Go back. Go back. An inch back. I want Mr. Malema to see how those people are standing there. Do you see them just standing? I see them. I see, they are not standing. There, there's movement amongst themselves. It might not be as uh, visible as you want to, uh, as to make that observation. They are not standing. These people, when you look at them, your worship, as they are now, when they've paused them, they are together as a group, isolated. Obviously, they are busy with something else other than what we are doing here. That's why they are not with this crowd. They are there, doing their own thing. Do you want to come to the bigger screen to look at it? I see them very well. It can't change. My vision can't change. Those people 
are a group of people who are moving around as to what they are doing i don't know but they don't look like they are part of the crowds that's why it is not it doesn't come as a shock when they move around and do whatever they want to do but at least we're all like in agreement that no one is running away I want to put it to you that they are just standing still. Nobody's moving before you fire that shot. They are standing still because you pressed pause. Can we play? Can you stop? We've unpaused it now for you. It's paused. What do you mean we've unpaused it? It's paused. Can you play? Can you see it's, it's unpaused? No, those people have got an activity, my brother. Whether you like it or not, they've got. Look at how they were now. They are pulling away from each other like this. They are engaged in an activity. They are not part of this. They've got their own activity. The bottom line is, Mr. Malema, they are remaining on the same spot before you fire the shots. You've got my can vision. You, can we confirm that? I'm not confirming that. <coughs> okay. I want you to look at the reaction once you fire the shots. Can you pause? What did you see when you started firing the shots on the video? Nothing. I'm saying to you, and you can take whatever decision you want to take. You're showing me some people in some corner. A shot is being fired from a stage. Do you see anyone running away from the stage? Where the shot is being fired from? Do you see anyone running away from the stage? Right immediately where the shot is being fired from. Do you see anyone running away? I'm showing some people who are engaged in some activity on the sideline of the event, and I must be answerable for them. I don't see anything. I see people on the stage. I see people in front of the stage. None of them <coughs> act in a terrified manner. None of them ran away. The stage is still intact. Are we, still, are we looking at the same video, Mr. Malena? We are looking at the same video here. Can you play it again? You can go back. No, I don't want to go back. I want to point. Before the shots are fired, this is the man who's standing here. Yeah, yeah. After the shots are fired, this man is still standing here. Before the shots are fired, Mom Kaula is dancing here. After the shots were fired, Mom Kaula is standing here. These are human beings who should react. What is more important about those people than the people who are immediate next to the action? What is this selective way of wanting to arrive at the justice? I'm not pointing at people in the, in the periphery. I'm pointing you to the people who are next to the activity. You can't point at one of them as running away or moving away or anything of that sort. So I'm not going to be answerable for people that I don't even know what they are there for. I don't know whether it was their time to depart or whatever. What, whatever coincidence happened, I don't know. All I'm saying is you've got women on the stage there. You've got women and children in front of the stage there, young people. You've got men on the stage there. None of them act terrified. The, the, even the man who sings, who leads the song, your worship, he doesn't, when he hears what is so-called shorts, 
So, uh-uh, he sings the way he was singing. Nothing changes in his voice. Because he must react if there is some, something that is unusual happening. Sorry. Mr. Malema, we will keep, keep these proceedings very short to answer the questions. The way it is being asked by you. We are going to get to the people on the stage. We are only referring to the people there on the far right, as Quinn pointed out to you, the seven people who are standing there. I think my let, let, friend has exhausted this line of question. It's going to get us nowhere. It's going to be a matter for argument with respect to it. You might receive that, and then I will make a ruling if it's a repetitive. Advocate Matthews, thank you. Let me tell you, there is no one who can tell me how to answer questions. No one. Not even a hanging judge can do that to me. No one. It's not going to start with you. It has never happened. I'm answering the way I want to answer. Which direction are you moving from that stage? Which direction are you moving? You are moving to the far right. Is that correct? And you're also firing shots towards the right where those people are standing. Can you confirm that? I'm, I'm not firing any shots, by the way. There's no shots I'm firing. So which shots am I going to say I'm firing them from the far right? I'm not firing any shots. I've never fired any shots. Is it correct that before you fired shots, there were seven people standing there? Well, it's your, it's your, it's your vision. I see people there. I still see them standing there. And uh, that's my vision. It's correct. Once you fire those shots, those people are moving fast away from... It's not direction. correct. It's actually a lie. Can you play that one more time before I leave this point? Confirm that after you fire shots, there's nobody there again. It's not Those true. Are no longer there. It's not true. They are there. Where do you see them? Those people are there. One of them is still. Uh, the camera is still showing the one of the people that you are pointing at. You said nobody is there. So I wouldn't know off camera where those people are. You wouldn't know yourself. You wouldn't know. They are, if they are off camera, what, whose problem is that? can't be my problem. But no one has been moved because I fired shots. It's not true. No one has said that. You are actually assuming by looking at a movie. Did you have your own firearm there on the night in question? No. I had subs with me. Why do I need a firearm for? Who provided you with that firearm that you are seeing, being seen? Uh, I don't... Uh, no, no, I, I've never accepted that I see a firearm there. I'm saying to you, I wouldn't know whether this is the part of the rifle or not the part of the rifle. My concentration has always been about the charge you have put before me, and the charge before me <coughs> is the rifle. I've not paid attention to that thing. If I discharged a 9mm pistol, in this picture I should have been charged with it. And it was supposed to be brought to this court. Then I will know that I've got a duty to prepare myself on this aspect because uh, I'm being charged with it. So to me it's non issue this. Mr. Malema, you are being charged for discharging a firearm in a built up area. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what that represents. <coughs> Were you discharging that? Uh, uh, you brought a, a, a firearm you are alleging I discharged at the stadium. You didn't bring this one. Bring it now. Let's see. The firearm you are alleging I discharged in a, 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 a dis enclosed area, 
is the one you brought to this court. And then I brought the one that I discharged on that day. Had you made any allegation about this, I would have provided this court with sufficient response because I would have prepared myself in this regard. This is no charge before me. This evidence in a whole was always part of the state's case. You did not charge me with any pistol. You never brought any pistol before this court. Mr. Malema, if that was a real pistol, hypothetically speaking, and you have discharged in the manner which we see you discharge on the video, which you have put the lives of those people that were standing there or around the stadium in danger, hypothetically speaking. I will not have put anyone's life in danger because I will never have done that. Not even in a dream I can wake up. If I dream like that, I wake up immediately. I will never put the lives of our people at risk. My Lord, these are not people, just people to me. These are EFF voters. Why would I put a life of a voter at risk? I need that vote. I want you to count the number of shots that has actually been fired there. Do you, can you agree that it is indeed 14, between 14 and 15 shots that has been fired there? <coughs> as has been testified by the expert of yesterday. Or do you want to I'm going to, to play it again yes. so I can count. Play yeah, I did. Yes, how many? Twenty. <coughs> your own firearm, how many live rounds can your magazine take? And I don't know those things. I just have a firearm. I don't use it for anything. I don't deal with ammunition. I is there in the safe. I don't know how many rounds it carries. I've never paid attention to those things. You've heard the evidence of the ballistic experts that a uh, standard 9 millimeter will take, uh, magazine will take about 15 rounds. You see now you're talking about an expert, who am I? I had a difficulty even with woodwork at school, so what is going to happen? That question should be in the light of the fact that he was asked about a Glock. Fire. <coughs> he was asked about the capacity of a Glock. Fire. Thank you for the episode, Matthews. The evidence of the ballistic expert was that a Glock, a standard magazine of a Glock 9mm <coughs> firearm, takes about 15 live rounds. Your ship, I don't know what is a Glock. All I know, my firearm is written Taurus on top of it. If you go into descriptions, I wouldn't know what is it for. And I'm not interested in the business of those things. I'm in the business of politics not of firearms. Ballistics will know, and I can't argue with such an expert input. When you accepted that particular firearm, did you look what type of firearm it was? Uh, which one? The one that we see. I never said street. I accepted any firearm here. When it relates to a firearm here, don't include me. I don't, I'm not part of that. I don't know anything about that. I'm going to answer the other firearm which I brought before this court. We're getting there, Mr. Malema. I want to put it to you that that is indeed a real firearm that you are using right there, endangering the lives of those people who were standing there. 
it is your failed vision. Incompetent, incoherent vision. With no little bit of proof. An abuse of prosecuting powers. The people on the stadium, you said yesterday, they were all members of parliament, and one is a senior council. Is that correct? I never said they were all members of parliament. I said there are some members of parliament, and one of them is a senior council of the bar, who will not have witnessed a crime being committed and not reported, because the bar will debar him. The gist of your evidence was basically that it's not nobody's that's standing there. It's important people that's on that stage. Is that correct? And the, the revoking of parliament is to say to you there are lawmakers there who ordinarily will have to respect the law. And when a crime is being committed, they are duty bound to report it. Otherwise, that will be against their oath of office. party who will nominate those people to be elected as members of parliament should that be the case branches of the EFF <coughs> we hold what we call a list conference and voting is done secretly your worship I'm also subjected to the same process where I throw my name and people still have to vote for me to go to parliament, members and branches of the EFF. By virtue of being its president, it's not automatic that I will go to parliament. After being elected in an elective conference of the EFF, when elections come, like they happened now, we go to what we call a list conference. And all those who have interest to go to parliament gets voted by those people in the list conference of the EFF. Some of the people on that stage, are they also your close Friends, personal friends? There's no close friend or personal friend of mine. I'm the only child with no parents. I don't know what a close friend is. Many of them I regarded as close friends sold me out. So I play nowhere close to that concept of a close friend. I came alone. I will live alone. Would you regard the persons coming to support you for your cases as friends? They are not friends. These are my comrades. This is the leadership of the EFF. Mr. Malema, that it's highly unlikely that any of those people that is on that stage would have reported you or would have laid a charge against you as you want to claim that they should have come forward. What stops them? Your Worship, what stops a senior counsel to report me? What will I do to a senior counsel? <coughs> These are not laymen. These are not job seekers. These are not my garden boys and domestic workers. I'm giving you an example of a senior cancer, well-seasoned senior cancer. If he wants to create an impression that they were scared of me, why would the senior, why would the senior cancer be scared of me? The person who sings, who's leading the song, by the way, with a microphone, is a doctor. It's a PhD doctor, a thinker of note. It's no layman. <laughs> Let's just get this out of it. You are indeed a very accomplished and an esteemed politician. Can we agree that much? You can't take that away from me. Yes. For anybody to just come and lay a charge against you might, it might not just be an easy task. Why did the police officer do it when a senior counsel can't do it? Because he's scared of me. A mere police officer. Whatever power I have, which I would have exercised on a senior council, 
What about an ordinary police officer? It's not true, that assertion. Your evidence? Your evidence was that you, reason why all this was decided upon was to put up a show and and to entertain, entertain the crowd, is that correct? Yes. <clears throat> In both videos, or in all three videos basically that was played, can you confirm that you're moving away from the people that's actually standing in the crowd towards the far right of the stage, the end of that stage. Absolutely. Why would you do that if you were there to entertain the crowd and put up a show? Well, uh, when you are about to make an act, you have to isolate yourself so that people can see what you are doing. You don't drown in the crowd. Let's take the 10th anniversary of the EFF, the FNB. If you look at that video, I move away from the leadership and I'm alone there in front. And then the stage takes me up alone. It doesn't take me with everyone because it's an act that must be performed by that actor. If we grow up watching movies and not by scopes, we will understand how movies work. Is it correct that the act that you're just talking about now, you said you moved to the front yes. in order so people can see you right there in the front yes. and the stage is now going to go up, yes. is that correct? Yes. yes. <laughs> Why didn't you do it here the in this instance? The stage is designed differently. If you look at that stage of the FNB, it has got a platform where everybody is seated, and then it has got a runaway. So you move from this crowd, you go as if you are going forward, alone on a runaway. Somewhere you stop there, uh, in the middle of the runaway, the stage goes up. That was different stage to what you see now. Yeah, these ones are going to be singing on the middle of the stage and then you will go on the side of the stage to perform the act so that the act does not get drowned by many people who are on the stage. It's a lead act. Staring. <laughs> What's the point then of that if you have to go right to the corner of that stage where very few people could actually observe what you are about to do? But you are not there. You don't know if very few people can see what I'm about to do. One. Two. Your own witnesses who came here told you they had cameras which were beaming us into big screens of that uh, stadium on the <laughs> stage and everywhere else. So. You are of no authority to come here and say very few people can see me. You were not there. I was there. And I can tell you the act was carried properly the way it was designed and was viewed by the people that we were targeting in that stadium. So no few people viewed that act. Cameras, by the way, your worship, are there for that purpose where there is a need uh, for an act to be zoomed into a bigger uh, uh, screen, people should be able to see because ordinarily as the crowds, as many people, some will be at the far end. So even if you are to perform it right at the center of the stage, without cameras and the screens, a lot of people may not see what you are doing. That's why we've got cameras and we've got big screens. So it doesn't matter from where you are, you will be picked up especially if this is designed to be part of the act. Everything else you see happening there is calculated. 
if you go and look at that stage of the EFF going up at the FNB, I dropped the mic. That mic did not disappear. Someone knew the mic is going to be dropped and is going to capture it from the ground and put it safe. Everything is well calculated and designed to be the way it was. Where was the majority of the supporters and the people standing when you were performing that act? In front of the stage. Are you able to estimate how many were in front of the stage? You can make a rough estimation. I said 20,000 yesterday. <coughs> On the video, when you actually went to go perform your act, one can count seven people from that specific video, just from the video. I'm not talking about what's going on next to and behind. But if this court is going to allow you to say such things, then I'm not going to answer. Because there's no seven people who can be counted there. Seven people. On the far right, those people that we said. No, we're saying people in front of me, there are no seven people there. There are a lot of people there. On the far right, sir, on the videos it's standing there where you went to go perform this specific act. What we count there, the ones that moved away are seven. I never went to perform this there. I never. I performed this in front of the stage and that which you see at the end of the pitch is not the front of the stage. That will be misleading to the court. I'm in front of the stage. Those people are not in front of the stage. That's why the videos are misleading. They make you see people as if they are at one place. They are not at one place. If you play this, you will see the corner of that stage. And that corner of the stage was not reaching the end of the pitch. It was in the middle of the pitch. Those people he keeps on referring to, they are almost at the fence that divides the grandstand and the pitch. They are not in front of the stage, those people. The people who are at the front of the stage are the ones I was showing uh, your worship on the screen. Those are the people who are in front of the stage. Why don't you just fire towards their direction as they are standing there? It's none of your business. It's my business where I fire from. It's my event. I can even fire under the stage if you so wish. I decide how I'm going to perform it. It's none of your business. You have no business with how EFF conducts its business. As long as it's lawful and it doesn't violate any law, where, where, do you come, where do you come in? Unganapi. Mr. Malema, the only logical explanation as to why you did that is because you knew that those fire, those firearms were indeed the real firearms that you've used there. An incompetent, incoherent, inferior prosecution is what you are trying to prove here. An abuse of power. You will not win with me. This act can be performed anywhere. I can even go and perform it on the grandstand if you wish. Anywhere. There is no prescription by the law. That's why I'm asking you, where do you come in? There is no law that says you must perform it here, not there. Perform it there, not there. There is, I can go anywhere I want to do this. Where it will have a maximum impact where it will not drown in the crowd, I will still perform it. I write my own script. Ms. Clara, can you go to the third video, please? The viral one. <clears throat>
reason why I'm both showing you both videos, I wanted to show you that in the first video, the firearm that you're using there, the handgun, gives out the muscle flesh when you were firing shots. In this video, the other rifle, the rifle that you're using there, also having a muzzle flesh when you fire it again. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. You already stated that the person that handed this rifle over to you was Larry Mabunchla, is that yes. correct? Yes. And Larry Mabunchla is not seen on the video how he hands over this rifle to you, is that correct? Yes. Accused number two is also visible on this video, is that correct? Absolutely. <coughs> Was he there as one of your personal protectors? No. In that capacity? No. Your close protectors, including the SCPS, they also had rifles and there were other rifles on this particular scene or on that stage on the night in question, is that correct? I don't know what they had. We had an opportunity to call them and ask them that. You didn't. I don't know which, what kind of weapon they were carrying. They wrote there for you, described what they had. I don't know. It's not my business. In fact, if one has regard to the exhibits, the, the, the statements you issued, none of them said that they had rifles. They said they were allocated rifles, but this, I, as far as I remember, because I've given them to your issued, none of them say I had a rifle with me, so I don't think it's accurate. So you said you don't know whether there were any other rifles except for the one that we've seen. On this video Absolutely, I'm responsible for that. I, I didn't hear? I'm responsible for that one, yes. <coughs> From the time when you arrived there up to the time when you left, nobody else that you know of or do you know of anybody that fired shots at this particular stadium apart from what we've seen here in this video? I'm not the Holy Spirit, I don't know. If there was fire, shots fired before I arrived, shots fired a night before, shots fired after I left, I've, I'd, I wouldn't know. But for as long as I'm concerned, this is the only act we carried out. Any other thing, I'm not responsible for it, I don't know. <coughs> you confirmed did you didn't see any of shots being fired anybody firing shots in your presence on the night in question or during the day when you were there that includes me i didn't see myself firing shots so i didn't see anyone You're the only one that actually fired shots during that day until 2 o'clock when you left the stadium. Those things of uh, toys are called shots, you are right. I don't know how they get described. I want to 
let you have a look again in this particular video. Mm -hmm. The shots that were fired there were seven shots. Can you confirm that? I don't Do you know. Want that. Us to play the plate. I'm unable to count how many uh, shots were, were fired there. It's, 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 it's a bit fast, but what fascinates me, Your Worship, is that a rifle is being fired and the people who are being shown running away no longer run away when a rifle is being fired. <coughs> Because I will assume rifle will have a, a more powerful, more <coughs> intimidating sound that, than the 9 millimeter piston. So you don't see anything like that with a rifle, which has been suggested earlier on with the 9 millimeter. But if you say 7, I take it from you. I, I can't argue it very much. <coughs> That was also counted, the exact same number was also counted by the expert that testified yesterday, Mr. Declare, that it was indeed uh, seven rounds of profile. Absolutely. He must be an expert now as you quote him and be an expert throughout, even in your argument that he is an expert. Accept that. Mr. Malema, I want you to look at that video. I want you to see that once you fire the shots, during the firing of the shots, the reaction after you firing the shots, and then you also describe to me what exactly you see when you look at the cues number two and this person that you refer to as Larry Mabuntla and describe it as to how you see it. Can you Your Worship, can I, am I allowed to go? Yes. And then where I want her to post and explain, and I can ask her to do that? Yes, you can. Okay. <coughs> jacket that has got yellow thing at the back. That's Larry Mabun, who I have an activity with off camera. And we both come into camera with Larry Mabun immediately after me because he has handed it over and then followed me. The white man comes after. Me. But he just comes from the front. <laughs> It's not in the main act, it's coming from somewhere, I don't know. That's why I have to say okay, right? because I don't know what he was doing here. <laughs> My activity is with this guy. Also. Oh, is there any medical reason why you are waiting such a 
and the glass is being put. If not, remove it, please. Thank you. So, I choose number two, Your Worship. Just comes from the corner. I don't even really know where he was. I had no activity with him at the beginning. Right at the beginning, it's me and Larry Mabunda. When I come into the camera, it's me, Larry Mabunda, after me. Because he handed it over to me off the camera. And then, when I went into the camera, it's the tailing behind me. When I finish, the white man comes from nowhere there to come and join us there. And then what do I do? You can play. Then I hand it over to Larry Mabunda. Oops, stop. Larry Mabunda's hand is here, eating the sweet. Where's the other hand? What is it doing? So this is where Larry Mabunda lives with the facilities. Larry. He's the one who gave it to me. I shoot, 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 shoot. I tell. When I tell, the white man comes to me. Then Larry is already there. He joins Larry. You and when? No, I, I know him. I, I, I work with white people. I mean, you get my teammates. So, <laughs> <laughs> so what do you say? Uh, that was way 2008. So, uh, Larry is right behind me. Me and Larry have an activity before. Me and Larry have an activity after. Then Adrian is there. Then Larry takes the thing. They both leave. No way did I have any form of uh, exchange or anything of that sort with Achus number two on the stage, off the stage, outside the premises, anywhere where he facilitated the handing over of a gun somehow, somewhat to me. You, you can go back, Mr. Malay. <coughs> That firearm that you are, the rifle that you are referring to, is quite heavy. It looks identical, almost like the one, the SPA 249, is that correct? It's very heavy, the toy. And if you doubt, ask your worship. <laughs> it's very heavy. <laughs> so, what you are saying that in this picture where we actually see Larry Mabunsla's hand, that's the one thing that I wanted to ask you about. You only see the one hand which you have in close to his mouth. The other one you are now saying basically is that your evidence that he had this particular blank firearm in his hand. Mabunda is no ordinary man. He's a highly trained police from CAT assault team, the second highest level in the police force. Larry Mabunda was regarded as number one best shooter in South Africa. Guns are his things. It might be heavy to me, to your worship, to you but not to a man who deals with these facilities. Actually, he can shoot it with one hand. You see me, I'm carrying it with two hands. Larry can shoot that thing with one hand, real firearm. You can put an egg there and ask Larry to shoot it, he will shoot it. The way I view, you are allowed to disagree with me, Mr. Yep. Malay. The way I view that video is that when accused number two came, he moved forward intercepting Larry Mabundla, and he was actually the one standing just slightly before you. How can I replay it? Let's replay it. Can I go back? Yeah? Yes, please. Between me and Larry. 
is Larry before him. Even when they leave, Larry to show that he's the one who was in front of him, in front of him when they were looking at him. He didn't have to now the white man who came according to who, who came between me and Larry didn't have to turn and push Larry away for him to be in front of us. He, when we turned facing that way, he was leading the way because he has always been at the back and in between us is Larry Mabu. At no point will you show me where the white man is between me and Larry. And he who alleges must prove it. You can stop it. Yes. I've stopped my part. The way I view it is that he came slightly in front of Larry when that firearm was handed over. You know, Your Worship, I, 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 I must really know which case am I dealing with. He came in front of Larry. When I give a response, he slightly came in front of Larry. It, it keeps on changing as it goes. Which case am I answering? I've answered that at no point, and you are the one who's alleging before this court. Ask her to play and stop the way I'm doing. Let her stop where the white man slightly comes in front of Larry. I've demonstrated it. I, I don't know how best can I do it. We off camera, we get into the camera. It's me in the front with the firearm. Larry comes and Larry comes charging even much more closer. When I finish shooting, as I turn, the white man comes in. He comes closer to us, but Larry is there. Larry takes the firearm. Once the white man realizes that whatever was happening is done, he makes a, a U-turn and Larry follows him because Larry was ahead of him. When they turned, he was now leading the, 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 the way. So show your worship where you are saying at some point he came before us. You can't do it, even with your own video that you came with. And if this is your video, you should not even be making this court to struggle. You should be saying at 1 minute 36 seconds, stop there. Because you prepared for this case. 1 minute 36 seconds, stop there. Then that's where you will see that the white man is between yourself and Larry. He can't demonstrate that before court. We must take it because he just says it. It's not happening. The rifle that you are using there, is it able to discharge? real ammunition and produce spent cartridges. It doesn't uh, discharge real ammunition. It doesn't uh, take out spent cartridges as you say them. They are, they are blinds. So th those blinds you worship. When you shoot, that's why we can't shoot it inside here because those blinds get out. The small ones also get out. But it's not the size of what has been presented uh, before this court. So if you have someone like her standing and then you shoot from here, if this thing uh, throws and hit her eye, it can injure her. But uh, it's not a very big thing that you will think uh, if it gets out, it can cause a serious damage. But it's safer not to discharge it in a place like this. We are in agreement that the real firearm that was tested, SPA 249, and the one that we see on this video, which you claim to be a toy firearm, a blank firearm, looks identical. Is that correct? I'm happy you're saying we're in agreement. <laughs> How would you have known that the firearm that Larry was handing over, over to you was indeed? SPA 249 or this blank firearm that you are claiming that you've used? We have spoken about it and then I'm the one who placed it in his position that when the time comes you'll hand it over to me and uh, I told you he's got the highest form of training I actually uh, you know I was wondering yesterday when your worship took the firearm from me the accused ordinarily it must go to a police officer and then go to your worship. So when it came from Larry, the officer, I knew that he won't swap it for anything real. That's how much trust I have in the South African police services. See, it's, it's, it's common cause 
before this court that this SPA, the real firearm, was also booked out to Larry Mabuntla on the day of the incident. Charge him and ask him if it was booked to him. You should have charged him. Because, I mean, come on, prosecutor. If a and, and, and Sira does that thing for a purpose, they say when you take out the firearm in the premises, the person who received that firearm must be identified and be recorded. You go to the premises where the firearm is found. They say the firearm was released to Lerima And then this firearm goes and do wrong things, you worship. You don't go to the person responsible for the firearm. You go look for other people. What makes the state case even worse? The police say, when we were busy at the premises, the certain Lerima Bunda brought back this firearm that is be before the court now to confirm that indeed it was released in his care. While they are busy trying to collect the firearms, Lerima Bunda brings back that firearm, including a pistol, back to them. Still that person whose record shows is, is the one who, released, who they released the firearm to, who the police came to give a testimony that we received this specific firearm from him. Still that person is not charged. And tell me of justice. Especially for accused number two. Who has nothing to do with this. No paper says this gun was under his care. The gun was never reported stolen. Everything is above board. If anything, my lord, Larry Mavunda cooperates with the police, he's still not an accused in this matter. Mr. Malema, it could have been done by now with your cross-examination if you have just allowed us to... I'm going to get to that part where the police visits the premises of technical security where accused number two was present when they visited this news. What happened up with this firearm that's being used on this video after you fired shots? What happened to it, meaning? What happened to it? I, Larry Mabunda took it away and went to put it wherever he put it. He can best explain that part. Uh, uh, but when uh, the case started, we went back to the SG of the organization to say, it looks like we've got an issue here. They reassured us that, no, the thing is back uh, in their care. And when we need it, as in when, they will hand it over to us. So it's an EFF property and did not get lost in between. It's still there. I came with it yesterday. When the police visited the premises of uh, technical security, the person that was present when SP249 was presented to them and the 9mm Glock was accused number two. You've heard that evidence, is that correct? Mm -mm. He might have been present, but the police officer brings Larry Mabunda's name. He says, well, we're still there. Larry Mabunda came with a rifle and a pistol. Please, prosecutor, you are the one who's more educated than me on these matters. This part you should not have missed. The, the accused number two was there when the first round of firearms were taken. Then they were brought back, and then the second one came. They, they, they came to take the second badge. In the second badge, when they were still busy, Larry Mabunda walks in with the firearm. He says, I'm told you are looking for this firearm. He gives them a firearm and a pistol. And then that's where we are. That's how this firearm ends up in this court, the real firearm. They were given by Larry Mabunda. So, Your Worship, a gun gets issued to me. Its cartridge is found somewhere that this gun was shot somewhere. No one comes to me to say, hey man, that gun that we issued to you was apparently used somewhere unlawfully. What is your account? That's, that's, that's the beginning of the case. You don't do that. 
You don't do that. If anything, you go look for a person who has got nothing to do with what happened. Yes, I'm right here because I'm in the video. I'm seen carrying something that can be confused for a gun. But this fellow has got no reason of being. The bottom line of the question was actually when the police visited the premises of tactical security services for the first time, they were only presented with these two firearms, the 9mm Glock and the SP249, which they didn't want to take. I give up. Is there in the judgment of 174 and the lawyers must come in now because this guy is misquoting what really transpired. That's not the evidence. We're going to go back and forth. The evidence was that they came and they fetched the badges. As Janssen, I think it was, was about to leave, Larry Mahunda arrived. And they came back outside and said, I believe you're looking for this gun. These two firearms and handed them over to you. It's not that on the first occasion when the police arrived at these premises, they were only given these two. That is not true. This gun that is before the court was looked at a long time after the bat, other guns were looked because it was in Mavunda's possession in Johannesburg. That's the evidence of, of yes. the answer. Because it's even stronger <coughs> than that. If one has record, I read the record yesterday, is Exhibit J it appears to be the report of Colonel Janssen, and I think it's contained in there, how the batches were handed over, and it's, as one of my friends has just stated, not as the prosecutor stated. Mm -hmm. I don't think much will turn on no, this. Worship, before you ask the question, you should have checked his notes because it's an incorrect statement that he put to the witness. That's wrong. SP A249 and the Glock was presented to the police to say these are the firearms that you are. I believe this is the firearms you were looking at for a technical support services. By who? By Larry Mabunfla. Yes. You are chosen. And surprisingly, these are one of these firearms tested positive relating to the SP2449. A tested positive to that spent cartridge that was found at the Sisa Dukasha Stadium. I hear from you. And you are the only one that has been seen on that night when this incident occurred, firing shots with a handgun and with a firearm resembling SPA 249. Resembling, yes. Not the real thing. I'm happy you're putting it properly. So the only inference that can actually be drawn that in this instance that you were firing that firearm, SPA 249, and not the toy gun that you brought to court. The only inference with an objective prosecutor would have been Larry Mabunda must answer where was this firearm which we found its cartridge at a particular place. That's where we should have started. You don't start at the end. You start at the beginning. Whose firearm is this? Where was it booked out for? Under whose name it is? Why is its cartridge found here? Hey, chap, what were you doing with cartridges at the Sisa Dugashi Stadium? Because this was issued in your name. None of that occurs. What happens? Cartridges are found. Whether they were dropped there, uh, whether someone was playing games with them, we don't know were being made to answer, and the people who are responsible for the firearm are not being made to answer. I cannot answer about the cartridge. I cannot answer about that firearm you are talking about. 
I gave you my fire. What purpose would anybody have to go put a fire, spend cartridges belonging to a firearm to a company that Fuse Number 2 works for there at the Sister Dugas Stadium. Hey, they will, best, they will better know. Why would I know on their behalf? I don't know. You are talking about a political party. You are talking about a political leader here. And there are so many conspiracies that exist which we don't want to bring before this court. So don't want me to second guess why that a cartridge was found there. I want to put it to you lastly that you were the one that fired SPA 249 firearm that was actually linked to this offense. Put my fingerprint on it, put my DNA to it, put it in my premises, put it on my body, put it in any of the papers or any of the witnesses that came here and said, yes, he was responsible for this. If you can't meet all of these tests, you are driving a different agenda and not the one of justice. You can't put me anywhere next to that firearm. Mr. Malema, would you still be, do you think your fingerprints will still be there if the police only went to go fetch those firearms in August at the tactical security a month later after this incident had occurred? Ballistics will know, I'm not, I don't know. We always arrest people through fingerprints. We, we, they say there is some, something called powder that is checked when you have discharged a firearm. None of that sort was checked on me. None. A person who in whose, your worship, if Larry took that gun and gave it to me without following the law, Larry committed a crime. He must be held accountable that you were negligent because you left the gun in the car and somehow Mr. Malema got hold of it and went to discharge it in public. Or you gave Mr. Malema a firearm and he went to discharge it in public or anything of that sort. It's not done. And you must tell me that's justice. Why are we starting at the end? Where is the beginning of this firearm? How does it end in the hands of Mr. Malema? How does it leave the premises of people who own this firearm? If Larry did do that, as you now state, regardless of that fact, you should have checked before you fired that firearm if it was indeed a real firearm or a dummy or toy firearm. I knew it was a toy. We, we were all together. If you have a problem of collegiality where you work, we don't have that problem. When a, a colleague is assigned an assignment, and this is how he's going to execute it, you have no reason, none whatsoever, to doubt that which is being presented to you. It's not just a colleague. It's a disciplined member of the force who served at the second highest level, who knows what discipline means, and knows the implications of doing what you are alleging has done. And why would he even risk it and do it in front of the police? Please, no further questions for this witness. <coughs> I'm good to proceed with you. Sorry, buddy. The guy wants to speak to me. Can I just defer to him?
Thank you. 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 Thank you.
and not even bother to call them or bring those matters to the attention of your worship. Had you not pointed them out, this court would have made a ruling without taking into consideration that on the day in question, on the stage, there were members of the South African police VIP protection. Now, and then back to the first video that you were shown, and you were shown um, seven people against the boundary wall mark. The prosecutor calls it extreme right. It, it, if you look at the screen, it is the extreme left. But it, be that as it may, you are shown those seven people with the, with the cursor, with the pointer up on the screen. What do those seven people do when, when, when you focused on them? I really don't know. But though, if you look at those people, they are at the far end of the pitch. And uh, with reflectors, either they are trainers or some sort of service providers, they are ordinarily not part of the activity that is taking place. That's why they are isolated. But I said to you, Oshi, because this thing is in a camera format, you're thinking everybody's at one place. And the distance between those people in front of the stage and those ones that you're pointing at is too huge. If anything, you're watching where those people are between that fence and the stage that's where the VIP machine was. So that tent was between the stage and uh, that side. If you look at through the entrance of that stage, if you look at it there, there is a white tent at the end there. I don't know if I can go to the screen to show you. Yeah. Because the camera comes from this uh, end. This is, the, this is the stage. I am here. Here. And then there is a, 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 a tower in between me and those people. There is a tower. Then there is a screen. Then there is a VIP marquee tent. Where the VIP marquee tent ends is the fence that divides the pitch with the grandstand. That's where those people are. Not anywhere in the close proximity to what we are doing. If you were to estimate that distance, how far would you say it is? Hey, you are starting with the distance of uh, <laughs> 23 meters. I don't know. But uh, it, was, it was too far. That market tent was too big. It was too far. Between where you, you were standing and where those people are at the fence, that you see there. Can you give any indication of how many people were between you and those people? Tens, twenties, hundreds, thousands. Which people? The ones that are in front of me. Now you see where the stage is to the blue wall where yeah. the curse is now. How many people were there between you and those people at the blue wall? There were no, there were no people. No, in front of you. In front of me, there are people, there are thousands of people here. Thousands of people in front of me. Now, could you see anybody running when you watch the video? No, not at all. Not in front of me, not on the stage. And even when the video plays, do all of the people go out of the screen or not? No. But equally, let's see, no one tends to pay attention to this scary thing. These are human beings. At the, at the end day, uh, of the stage towards me, it's a, 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 a comrade called Makaula. That lady who's there, she's, if I'm not wrong, we don't tell ladies' ages. She's almost 64 years old. She should ordinarily be scared by guns. Uh, I'm going to do something more particular. Yeah. Had you watched this video for half an hour before court started, would you have been able to answer the questions without playing the video in court? Which, when, when you were requested this morning to go watch the video in the room, the accused number two, would you have been able to answer the questions without the video being played in court? No. I wish you said this not what you just said, you must go and watch the video in the room or whatever. I don't know why I'm going to be speaking that it was going to be a private thing. It's not accurate. Yes, the record will reflect. I'm not even going to type the third. I don't to do that. I'm not going to do that. 
Do you know why those people moved in that direction as was pointed out by the process? I don't know. I don't know. Why would seven people of thousands just run away? You are splitting hands. That's an act of disparagement. Having watched the video, can you detect any indication of fear in those people? Nothing. Do you know of any person that was on the stage having been approached to make a statement to the police? The Dalian Poffer no. or anybody else that's there with you, your comrades as you call them, tell you I've been approached to make a, a statement to the police. Not only that in movie, I said to your worship, the guy who's leading the song is a prominent guy called Dr. Mwisele Ndoth. Known for having woken up an ANC minister sleeping in parliament <laughs> and called a sleep list. He's a well known guy. Why didn't the police, with an identifiable body like that, who is a member of parliament, not approach him for a statement? Darling Kofi is there, Mam Kaula is there, member of parliament, prominent member of parliament. Mam Refilu uh, Mashabela is there. The deputy president of the EFF is the one who's not jumping a lot at the bag because that's him, he's like that. He's there, flat bum. Noticeable figures, public figures. The police can't say, or the prosecutor can't say, Gwen can't say, we didn't say Gwen collect statement from these people because we, they are not recognizable. We don't know who they are. We don't know where we can find them. West senior counsel of the bar. Now, did any of those people ever tell you that, that you're afraid to make a statement concerning this incident? Dalimpov went to prison for a very long time during apartheid. Tortured by the apartheid government. Yes, he's a tried and tested leader of our society. Who am I to terrify Dalimpov when he could not be terrified by apartheid? When he was being coerced and forced into training into a spy, he refused and stood firm on, on the principle of liberation of our people. If I intimidate people, why would I intimidate someone like that who survived prison and isolation? You counted 20 odd shots. The expert counted between 14 and 15 shots. There was a further allegation of another seven shots. Are you aware of any damage to any property or person arising from this incident? From all those None whatsoever. Shots? And I will not give a accurate number of how many shots and all of that because really I'm trying to follow and I can't follow with how many shots were shot and all of that. It's none of my business. But how we explain guns also the gunshots, uh, where we come from, uh, you'll be very scared. When you say hey, how many rounds were shot, we're like, boop, 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 boop. <coughs> almost 30 foot. But the reality is that that gun might not carry that number because our heart skips a lot when we hear uh, uh, gunshots. So why should I be asked to be accurate on things I know nothing about? I'm a layman when it comes to guns. I'm no expert. And the expert spoke, and I accept what the expert said. Thank you, sir. been paused in my vision so the person standing right at the I can uh, entrance at the back is it a, a uniformed police officer or who is the person that I'm seeing the eye yes uh, the, the, the last person yes yes I, I can't see properly 
I'm not sure if I, what I'm trying to is it is it a, a god or a body uh, protector? No, we, we didn't have guards in uniform, so the only people in uniform at the stage and at this occasion were police. Does it appear to you as well as if it's a police officer? Our request that we played maybe when it arrives. I don't know. Um, okay, we yes. can play. Uh -oh. oh no, okay, no, 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 I can see, no, now it, it's the posed image is a different, uh, yes, okay, you can stop? Yeah, no, no, it's just clear when we play, it. that's fine. Um, as you've said yourself, you can answer as you wish, but I'll ask you to focus on the actual question, okay? If you are saying to the court, no one turns around or runs from this scary thing that is happening, doesn't it actually defeat the purpose of the whole act and performance that you've put so much detailed planning in? This one's on the stage with Natalie has been They know what is no, to no, follow. No, no, no. Speaking about people on the floor, on, on, on front of the stage. No, but uh, if you look at them, they are actually celebrating. They are they, they are cherry. We can replay it. The the crowd in front of the stage is cherry, is jumpy. Oh. For the act. Is that, is that what you are saying? Is that that is what is happening, Your Worship? Because, because they are scared, they are actually joyful of what they are seeing and hearing. Absolutely. They, 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 I'm, not about, I'm not talking about the ones that he referred to. I'm talking about these ones right in front of me, on the ground. Yes. They are actually cheering. And if your worship allows, we can replay it. No, no, I can, I accept that. Hmm. The issue is that it's never been said. Why not? We're just talking about no one is running away. Yeah. Oh, yes, I understand. So yes. now I'm asking, yes. Yes. what would the purpose of the act be then if it appears no one saw or witnessed it? No, no, they, they, they are cheering, yes. <coughs> the other, when well, we don't have to play the three different videos, mm -hmm. the song being sang during the first video, the second video, and the third video, it appears to be the same song, or am I wrong? Yes. The same song. I am not quite sure now. I know uh, the first one I can't remember. It's Paso, pa, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, can, I, can, I, can, I can't remember, but... Uh, that was the first song. So what happened to your ship? Yeah, the when you hear a person like he's doing, say, Dio, Dio, mm. Dio, Mama, Dio, mm. is about to change song. Oh, okay. So he sings the first song, and then when he prepares us for a different song, in between enters this Dio, 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 Mama, Dio, then brings in the song. Okay, so the first song is indeed that what I will ask your worship that we play a little bit of everything and then I will be able to tell as to which is which is what. Yeah. I let's play it, your worship. <laughs> let's play it. <laughs> mm -mm, there's no macarena. <laughs> there's no macarena. <laughs> no, no. None of the songs is sings macarena. Let's start with the first one. Yes. So when he does this, he's preparing a song. What is a macarena? Magarela. Guerrillas. Gio, Gio. Gio, Mama, Gio. Gio, Gio. Gio, Magarela. Yeah, guerrillas. <laughs> This one, so, so this is a song. Yeah, now. Now can we listen to the song? Yes. 
se ganó algo. Yes, yeah, singing about K KGB. Yeah, he sings about the KGB of the Soviet Union. It's a different song, yes. And this is the video where we see the USA resemble rifle Yes. Look at look at Yes, Mama Makola. Yeah, but no no. When they, when, when the shooting happened, you must pass it. Look at this. Look at the hands. They are cheering. Yes. Okay, we can stop there. No. It comes back to the, the same first question is, your argument before court was, look at the ladies on stage, they are still dancing. They are not scared, they, and they are not used to firearms, so, and no one is falling down. Okay. But if I get your evidence correctly, it was planned to the detail, so they should have been aware that that was going to happen at which stage. At, at, at what stage it will happen. They were aware. They are aware. So that's why no one is getting a fright. They are aware that there is now an act which is going to happen because if you look at the Roma people, you watch mm -hmm. I'm singing with them. Yes. Then when that part comes, I move away from them. Mm. So they will ordinarily know, especially the ones on the stage, that uh, uh, is, we are about to engage in an act. So that in the fact that they are not afraid or not familiar with it's because they knew what was going to come. They knew on the stage. But the ones who didn't know is the masses in front of the yes. stage. Okay. Now, was there a time arranged with Larry as to when he should bring this fire on, on stage? They would have arranged, I, I wouldn't have that detail, but when the time comes, I get told you we need to move to the other side uh, to do what we agreed on. So, um, this, in our organization, there is what we call the Secretary General, who is responsible for step by step of what happens. So, they know by this time we're moving this way, this time we're moving this way. Even just leaving a stage, you get told we must now go off the stage, and this is the direction we're going. They need my opinion, but they would have designed step by step. And I said to the court, a night before we go to inspect the, the stage, we inspect the, the sound system, we inspect the venue. So that's where it now gets explained that when you come in, you are going to drop off here. When you drop off here, you are going to f find officials lining up like this. Then you are going to move from this area all around the stage until you arrive at the stage. When I arrive at the stage, if we're to play that video and we have time, you must look at the Secretary General of the EFF. In all the events, when I arrive at the stage, he points a chair at which I must sit. Just a chair, you are here. That's what happens. Uh, so, the, the, it's simple like this. The organization works like this. So, the Secretary General organizes everything. The Treasurer General pays for everything. The President speaks about everything. being signed out the SBA 249 and in the same breath you are speaking about the second highest ranking SAPS official what, so, 
where, where in fact now is he employed? With tactical services? Where Not SAPS. Yeah, but he comes from SAPS. Is that why you... So I'm talking about that? his qualifications. That mm. um, he's not just an employee of SAMS. He comes, I mean, of uh, technical, uh, what, what? He comes from SAPS. Okay. And uh, he, he retired at SAPS at the counter-assault team, which is the second highest unit in SAPS. After that unit is the, special, is the task force. Okay, I hear it. When yes. it was explained, it sounded... It couldn't establish if he was now still at SAPS or with technical No, no, no. no. All right, now I, I, I get your explanation. You explain there's no need to disclose or get permission from jocks Jock. Jock mm. for the um, blank file. Mm -hmm. But if I read between the lines of his question, mm. actually, if they were aware that the act would be performed and with what it was shown to them, we will not find ourselves here today. There's no such a requirement. No, I fully agree there's no such a requirement at all. Do you agree it's logical that if they had known and this video went viral, they would have been aware to say it was disclosed to us? I, I agree, but we, we committed no error by not telling them because no. it's not a requirement, yes. but equally, that um, uh, had it become apparent to them, they had a duty to consult with us and say, guys, there is this thing that they said happened at the stadium where we were operating together. Job means joint operation center. And we would have provided that clarity, your worship, to them. This is the man who was chairing our job. We felt we the last time we saw him is when we said goodbye, goodbye, good work, thank you very much, bye. The second time we see him, it's here now. Like, but we were working with you. If there was an issue, why didn't you call us? So why is the honors only being put on us, your worship? That had you told them, you won't be here. Mm -hmm. Had they asked, had they asked, would have provided them clarity. Perhaps he would have even refused to open a case because he was told to open a case. Let and we had provide, perhaps would have even provided this toy to him as a demonstration that there's nothing to worry about. You shouldn't refer to the word onus. There is no such. Mm. It was a, a question which oh. we could agree on or disagree yes. on. Only. So... There's nothing that I have in, uh, to ask any further. Thank you. Any questions based on the court's questions, Advocate Otis? Advocate I Matthews? Advocate Caesar? No we have finalized your evidence. You may stand up. Thank you.
evidence on the off of the field number one, and it starts with this. <coughs> Is everyone going to be ready to address on merits today? Yes, I Thank you for your I'll honesty. I'll be ready to submit the legal argument. Okay, to the legal argument, the number of issues is all important, as well as the number of legal issues which we have raised in our legal I think it will be. Then I will say because there's an oral argument that we ready, but insofar as there's a need for recommend the what is in the long part, and I'll submit that to me because I'll more practice than the second time. It's it's up to you, but I don't require it's it's the stack of the first thing. Yes. I'll spoil the idea of the stand and make use the periodic comments. Um, I don't think I can give a date by no doesn't even have to reach me before the time as long as it reaches all of you so you can reply prepare reply on whoever addresses. But okay, can we pause the matter then because we'll have to set a date now for address. Um, as I said on the last appearance when we uh, arranged dates, I'm not going to do so in full view of the public. I don't think it's... Uh, anyone needs to know where the state, the defense of the defense or myself will be at on any particular day or busy with what. So. For that purpose only, I will do it in chambers, but will give you various options so that those options can be discussed with your clients and see if it suits everybody. Okay. Um, do we do it at two o'clock or do we do it now? Oh, no, then we can do it at 2 o'clock. I don't have a problem. No, no, that's why I'm saying we can do it at 2 o'clock. Um, just give me two minutes for a water break, then we can follow. Um, <laughs> I think that um, Warrant Officers Porter or Van Dijk will just show you around since they've enclosed the space here and swipe you in, but I don't think that you need a swipe card. Court will adjourn, thank you. All right.